Hey there, folks. Welcome back for part five of the VGC Diaries. This was really the low point of my day. I had gone from being undefeated, two and zip, to now having an even record of two and two. My hopes of greatness were completely dashed and were dashed so darn quickly. Um, so at this point, I was like, I gotta turn it around, man. I gotta turn it around. Don't give up. Um, another interesting quirk about this day had been that I was expecting to see the Heatran Crest combo everywhere based on my playtesting on the um, on the VGC Pokemon Showdown ladder. Uh, but this was actually the first time I saw either Cresselia or um, Heatran. So I was thinking, okay, probably, you know, usually what they do is they go Trick Room and demolish. So anyway, I'm going to switch out here uh, with my Tornadus not wanting to take a T-Bolt or anything like that and go right out into my Among Us. The idea is that I got to neutralize this Cresselia before it can set up Trick Room. Um, his Rotom, interestingly, is a defensive set, so for all his flinch this turn, that's fine. Uh, Rotom goes for the Hydro Pump against my Hitmontop. Doesn't really do too much. Hitmontop goes for a Fighting Gem boosted close combat right on back, and that should take out Rotom. No, excuse me, no problemo. And that's great. Uh, you notice that Cresselia hasn't gone yet, so probably going for the trigger. Oh, no, it goes right here. I was thinking it must be a slow... That's interesting that it's a, that slow of a Cresselia. Um, but he didn't actually go for the trick room, either because he's not running a trick room team, which is possible given his set, although those Pokemon, except for Rotom, really do pretty well in trick room setting. I was thinking, oh, well, it was because he was expecting the Spore, but he's got the Lumberry, so I don't know what's going on here. Okay, Heatran, scaring the crap out of me. I've got to get its health down with Mach Punch before it erupts on everything. Cresselia again goes for the um, Psy Shock, is going to take out my lower defenses Hitmontop, and that's not good that uh, Heatran now is not going to, it's just not going to be a good situation. I do manage to finally put Cresselia to sleep, phew, that was scary. Um, that they would set up a trick room or whatnot, I don't know. Cresselia is a bulky, really uh, bulky turd. It doesn't really do much. It's not very strong, but it's really hard to take out. So anyway, he goes now out into his T-Tar. I didn't really mind the sand. Most of my Pokemon do decently well in the sand. Uh, I go for the Hydro Pump here against the Tyranitar, but Tyranitar's boost defenses mean that it's going to be bulky. Here, I do the lame play and go for the Double Spore. There is no Sleep Clause in VGC. It's still a lame strategy, but you know, we're in it for championship points. This isn't about fun in games or being uh, being nice to your opponent. This is about trying to win. And at this point, I was so far behind in the, you know, I, I'd gone from 2-0 to 2-2. I was desperate to get a win. So I'm pulling out all the stops here, and uh, I'm doing whatever I can. So Among Us is going to go for Giga Drain against uh, his T-Tar. Um, Among Us is, pr is at pretty high health. Uh, Psy Shock wouldn't really do too much to it. I'm I'm not sure the set I'm running, um, but I think it's basically balanced defenses rather than like physically defensive or specially defenses. Defensive. Oh, light screen, that was a thing, and now it's worn off. So now my attacks are going to do a considerable amount more damage. I go for the Hydro Pump against Cresselia. Cresselia wakes up here, goes for the Psy Shock. Yeah, obviously not running any Trick Room uh, set, or he realizes that my remaining Pokemon are, for the most part, pretty slow. Although Trick Room really, really... Um, neutralizes uh, Tornadus T completely. By the way, uh, I don't think I saw anyone besides me use Ethereum form in the entire competition. Very strange. I wonder why that would have been, but I don't know. Uh, Tyranitar wakes up, goes for the Protect, whatever. Um, I'm cool with that. Among Us here goes for the Rage Powder. Uh, Rotom is really the Pokemon here that uh, needs to survive as the um, more offensive one. So I go for the Discharge here. It is going to manage to finally take out that bulky-ass Cresselia, and I'm pretty happy about that. So now, he's still got that Heatran. I, I, I need I need to uh, neutralize that Heatran straight away. I go for the Hydro Pump. Pray it doesn't miss. Thank God it doesn't miss. Go for the Hydro Pump. It's going to almost take out Heatran. doesn't quite take him out, but he was going to go for the Substitute anyway. So... I was expecting uh, Trick Room, Heatran Eruption, and I am not seeing it today. I don't know what's going on there. I guess the um, people who actually play VGC in competitions are not the same people who play VGC on the, the um, Pokemon Showdown ladder. Go figure. Uh, anyway, at this point, Heatran's the only Pokemon left. I can take it out, no problem, based on my Pokemon. Uh, and, you know, he's going to protect Stall a little to try to get some health back with 
um, leftovers, but you know he's not going to be able. He's not going to manage to pull it off. I have a 100% accurate move in my Rotom. Oh, right. If he double protects, then uh, the Rotom could go down, um, and that would be uh, that would be lame. But it wouldn't be the end of the world. And indeed, Heatran does manage to go for the double protect. Rotom uh, Wash is going to go down, but I'm not going to complain about double protects. My opponent is not going to complain about um, me going for the double spore. So that's fine. Not really uh, going to complain at all. Uh, now here's the problem. My uh, my Tornadus does not have any 100% accurate moves aside from the 4 extra resisted U-turn. And so what am I going to do here? I decide to go for Air Slash, which is nearly perfect accuracy. And I do manage to... It does manage to connect. It does manage to take out Heatran. And no amount of hacks... Or there's no bit of hacks there that's going to turn this match around. And so now I'm 3-2 rather than 2-2. And maybe I'll come back.